what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is- Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. These, this week's videos are a little off little little different than normal because of Brian's heart procedure yesterday. He's been in recovery. Actually, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. And um, yesterday was day one of recovery. Today's been day two of recovery. And we've been setting up chicken houses, getting ready for our chickens to come back. So, with that being said, the cooking is a little off. Last night, we had somebody bring us a meal. Tonight, I'm going one direction. He's going another direction. <clears throat> So there's not much, but stay tuned to the end of the video. I am going to show you how to make a quick, easy cream corn out of canned corn. If you don't have corn from the garden, you can always get you some good cream corn and I'm going to show you how to make it. So with that being said, I'm going to make Mr. Bryant sit down on the couch. Oh yeah. And he rested so good yesterday. He's done pretty good today. We were setting up chicken houses today. Um, he was there. He did sit a lot, but he did get up and work a lot too. So, but he did, he has done, he has been an exceptional patient. So I just wanted to let you guys know, because I know several of you who've been getting on to him, telling him he better take it easy. And I appreciate that. He's done really well. In fact, let me insert this picture real quick and show you how good he did yesterday. Wasn't that the sweetest thing ever? Okay, so I'm going to show you a, like a, maybe a couple of clips from yesterday and some from today. And then I'll show you. Anyway, just enjoy the video. I know it's crazy, but we'll get back to normal next week. All right, guys. It is, I don't know what video this is going to end up on or whatever. My hair's a mess. I'm at the farm. Today is the day after Bryant's procedure. Forgive the dinging bell. I'm not going to put my seatbelt on just driving from one house to the next because we're on the farm. But um, he had his procedure yesterday, and so he is not allowed to be over here working. Although I have a feeling he'll show up in a little bit. Today. Why is it? You did? Is he? He was, he was in there. He's in there? Okay, we'll go up here and park. Um, we need to start setting up chicken houses and um so that's what we're doing it's going to be just me and isaac today and judah bug my helper and and then tomorrow i think we've got some high school um boys coming over to help us and then if we still have more to do caroline's going to come over and help us on friday so we're going to go in here and get started and get dirty good morning everybody it is day two after surgery so this is probably going to be kind of what the video is for tonight it's just kind of an update um, we we are going to fin we still setting up chicken houses because our chickens come back next week Monday. they come back Monday and Tuesday so we have to get ready mr. Madron here is going to sit and supervise yep. he rested so well yesterday he did such a good job sitting and resting yesterday and he's going to do the same thing today except he's going to be a little more active he's going to be at the farm because you know a supervisor wants it done their way right the right way the right way but i was released to drive after 24 hours yes he can drive now just can't lift or do a whole lot he's supposed to be sitting in the recliner but he's promised he's promised me he will sit and supervise at the farm so you can't keep a good man down okay guys we came home and we took a break 
for lunch. I'll show you what we've done so far. Now we're going to go back. We've, we've done a certain amount of work all through house six, one through six. Now we're going to go back to house one and do the second part of the work and one through six. So I'll show you when we get there what we got done. Okay, guys, we've lowered the feeders. We've put out the paper underneath the feeders. We've put out the chick make pans and um, put the hoppers on that holds the feed. And now we are going to, we've finished this in all six houses. So now we're going to come back in and lower the drinkers and put down um, the curtains. So got just a, another few hours of work to do and um, may have just a few small odd and ends to do before the chicks come but we should be completed pretty much today and look who's working not much not much he's really just supervising uh -uh. he's done pretty good and we're gonna put paper out underneath the drinkers just like we do the feeders that's our drinker paper so they're gonna get started on that we have Easton and Ross helping us today. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, I am back from the chicken houses and let me just explain my hair. Um, my hair is really dry and I cannot wash it every day. Well today, as you saw, we were at the chicken houses um, setting up all day and so what I wear when I'm in the chicken houses when I'm not wanting to wash my hair is I wear like the bandana over my hair and then over that I wear a um, shower cap so there is the reason my hair looks like a mess but anyway today this week's videos are kind of odd and kind of different because of our schedule we had Bryant's surgery his heart ablation on Tuesday yesterday he was in recovery I was kind of recovering from we got up so early and it was just we were just both zonked yesterday he was zonked because of his surgery and I was just zonked because of you know my being um, not uptight but you know worrying and waiting and going to the hospital and driving and all that stuff makes you kind of tired. So anyway, so this week's videos are going to be a little bit odd in schedule. So last night, um, a dear friend of mine brought us supper. So therefore there was no cooking. Today we've been setting up chicken houses. I have Judah's, uh, he has a little t-ball game tonight. And so we're going to kind of do a day in the life of today and tomorrow but with something quick and easy recipe in there so don't forget to stay tuned i've already told you but stay tuned to the end you're probably going to get how to make a quick easy cream corn out of a can without buying the cream corn out of a can so anyway um well, what I thought I would add in this video i'm not fixed up i'm not ready to try on anything but guess what was on my porch when we got, I didn't even know this was coming. And I may be completely out of like credits, so I may not can even keep anything. But this was on my porch when I came home. So I thought today we'll open it and just look at what's in it. And then tomorrow I can do the try on and um, let you see it on me. But. So we're just kind of, and there'll be, there'll be a recipe in tomorrow's video as well. So there's, there's a small one today and there'll be a small one tomorrow. Okay. So if you're not familiar with Wantable, it is a styling service and they send you clothes. I think if you keep three, you get a certain percentage off. If you keep five, you get a percentage off. I, and don't quote me on this. Go check them out because I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's a $20 styling fee which is credited back to whatever you keep if you keep one item or whatever so it's so cute it's very personalized it comes with this little sticker that says styled for leslie and i i didn't if they sent i don't can't remember between i know stitch fix sends you a preview i'm not sure if wantable does or not but when it got here i actually looked at my checkout 
and I kind of saw the things that were in it. Oh, my bundle's falling out. Hang on. Well, there's two things that fell out. <laughs> Actually, three things. Oh, I like things that come in small packages. So, two things fell out, and then here's the rest. Oh, you can't even see. Everything was falling out. There's more of the bundle. Can you see? I see some denim. So, we'll see. Everything fell out. All right. So, it comes with a return envelope mailer, so you can just pack everything up you don't want, stick it in your mailbox, raise the flag, or take it to the post office, whatever you do, um, and it's ready to go. You don't have to pay anything. And they send you your what to do with and um, here is our stylus note. Hi Leslie, kick off summer in style with a sensational pieces picked just for you. I can already see you confidently putting together so many outfits using these versatile options. The burnout tatina top blends vintage inspired coziness with an on trend detailing. This lightweight 3-4 sleeve v-neck features so soft burnout fabric, dolman sleeves and raw cut exposed seaming detail. Pair with your favorite comfy denim for an easy must-have style. I look forward to hearing what you think of my choices. Take the next five days to discover which pieces make you feel your very best. And they actually add a picture. Is Tatawana? 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so th I think this is the top they're talking about because I can just tell by the fabric. It's, it's kind of... Um, not distressed but weathered is that a word <laughs> it's worn and it is three fourth dolman type sleeves this um let's see the seam is kind of on the outside you know it's kind of like a inside out seam that's and it's really lightweight and super soft um i just not sure about the color i kind of tend to like bright colors but hey I won't knock it till I try it on which will be in tomorrow's video don't forget then we have this um, this is pretty it's kind of casual and dressy all at the same time these beautiful I'm not a lace person it has to be a it has to be a just a beautiful lace and this is a beautiful lace that is gorgeous and then the top part is ribbed that is super cute it's v-necked it is by maddie m in size medium so that is super cute let me see what brand this other top was and i'll give you the recap and the prices in tomorrow's video so to be sure to come back tomorrow this is by wearables. <laughs> Look, Maddie M. The M was for medium. Maybe not. Maybe it was Maddie M. I don't know. This is a medium and it is by wearables. Okay. So, here is a, what is this? Oh, this is a pretty kimono. Um, I think it's a kimono. Yeah. I don't know why it goes down in a V. I don't know. We'll have to try, we'll have to try that on. Obviously. It is by Vanilla Bay. It's pretty. I've got some pants that would look good with. some. This has got a little touch of orange or peach in it. But it would look good with denim. So yeah, and um, I think it's kind of a one size type thing. So yeah, and w like I said, we will go over prices, all that good stuff. Oh my goodness, this is so soft and this is so cute. <gasps> it's like a little maxi dress. Oh my goodness, I hope this works so much. Mika Rose, oh, and it feels so good. Look at that. Now I think that's adorable. I have all kinds of shoes I can wear with that. Super cute. I just hope it's not too long. I'm a shorty. I'm only 5'2", 
and that's on a good day. <laughs> it's on a good day. And oh, I love this. I hope this works. And I hope it's not too bad of price. I really like this. Oh, more denim. Oh, these are cute. Who were they by? Democracy. Size 8. They're kind of a, looks kind of like a skinny. Ab solution. Oh, we all need some ab solution. You know, it helps you suck in your abs or hide, camouflage your abs. Um, curve equality. Um, cute. Not. A, I don't see any distress. Maybe just some like little slight distressing. Nothing major. And I really need a good pair of non-distressed um, jeans so yes please I like those and now this is odd they sent me kind of the same skin they sent me two pairs of skinny jeans like it I don't know like send me maybe a boyfriend cut if you're sending me the skinny you know send me two different styles or two different colors or something um, now this This has definitely more distressing on it, but not, I mean, I don't mind that. So, um, size 29, which I think is like a seven or an eight. The Goss Jagger Skinny. So, I guess if I'm needing a pair of jeans, it'll come down to which one of these two works the best. You know, I just think it would be a good business sense on their part to send two separate things because it can pretty much tell if I've got two of these items that are so similar. I'm only going to keep the one I like the best if I keep any. And chances are, if they sent me something totally different, I would love both of them and keep both of them. I don't know. But they are very different. These are much more casual. I mean, they're both casual. They're both denim. But so... Um, and I love the brand Democracy. I, I have, I don't think I have any pants by Democracy. I have a shirt by Democracy. Um, so I will definitely try both pairs on and we will see, we'll see which one. So, okay, the try on is gonna be tomorrow so I can at least have some makeup on and if they look bad, at least my face will look okay. <laughs> but let's go get started on making, um, I've got to go to Judah's ball game, his tee ball game, and Bryant's gonna stay here. He has a Zoom meeting. Plus, he don't really he's he didn't work too much in the chicken houses, but he did. Let me back up. He did. He worked more than he should have. He didn't work like he normally would have, but he did work, and um, he kind of needs to stay home and rest. So, but he does have a board meeting with for the church. So I think they're gonna do a Zoom meeting if I'm not mistaken. So he's probably gonna stay home. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make him supper before I leave. And I'm gonna just, y'all know at Sam's, they have those chicken nuggets that taste like Chick-fil-A's. I think I'm just gonna put him some of those in the air fryer and I'm going to make some cream corn. He loves cream corn. Now I don't have any fresh garden corn and I haven't thawed any of my corn from the garden from last year out of the freezer. I haven't thawed any of that but I do have some canned corn and canned corn is something you need to know how to fix and fix right throughout the year because you never know when you're, your your garden stash if you have a garden stash you don't know when it's going to run out or you may not even have a garden stash. So I'm going to show you how to make some delicious creamed corn. The only thing that would be missing is some sliced tomato. Oh my goodness, how much I would love a big old bowl of creamed corn with sliced tomatoes. That is like heaven on earth to me. There's only one thing I like better than creamed corn and sliced tomatoes, and that is fried okra and sliced tomatoes. I mean, I eat it together. So good. So good. Okay. All right, I'm going to put this up, get it ready for me to try on tomorrow, and um, I'll meet you over in the kitchen, and we'll start on some cream corn. 
I know I said we would be in the kitchen, but I forgot to show you what was in the little package. I'm excited about this. I'm actually excited about the whole box or the majority of the box. Oh, those are beautiful. Yes, please. Those are gorgeous. Love those. Okay. All right. Now I'll meet you in the kitchen for creamed corn. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to show you how to turn just a simple can of off-brand corn. Now I do would suggest being sure to get sweet corn. Uh, you can get the shoe peg corn. That's great too. But um, I would definitely suggest getting the the sweet just because it gives it that that sweetness okay so I've already opened the can and I'm gonna drain <laughs> my washing machine on the porch is draining and when it drains you can hear it in the kitchen sorry anyway so I'm gonna drain about 90% of this water off um, and put it over in just a small sauce pot so that's what I'm gonna do I'll meet you back right here Okay, so pretty much all of the water was drained off. Um, you can see some, you know, I didn't just keep standing there holding it. When I got low, I just turned and went. Now, I want to keep this can because in this corn, I'm going to add, I'm going to add something to the can in just a minute. But to the corn, I'm going to add probably a tablespoon and a half of butter softened butter it doesn't have to be softened it just happens to be what I have sitting out and some black pepper and I, I like a lot of black pepper in my cream corn all right so I'm gonna get this on the stove and just turn it on and I'll come back and show you how we're gonna make our thickening mixture okay so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to add in to just our can. So don't mess up another, don't mess up anything. I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Now, you can use some cornstarch if you prefer cornstarch. I happen to think in certain items, in certain things, cornstarch leaves a like a film in my mouth or it gives it kind of a texture that I'm not exactly happy with and so I'm going to choose not to use cornstarch. I prefer all-purpose flour in my cream corn. So I'm going to fill up about half a can of, now I'm using heavy cream and I may have to add some milk to it um, just because I'm about out. Normally I just use milk because I don't usually have heavy cream. I just happen to have it. So, milk is totally fine. In fact, I'm going to finish filling it up with some milk. And I'm going to go about maybe a little bit over half a can of milk. And I'm now going to take a whisk or a fork or whatever I can find, and I'm just going to whisk that flour in that milk. Okay, everyone, I've got the burner turned on. I just now turned it on. And so I'm just taking a whisk, whisking this flour and this milk together. It's okay if the, all the lumps don't come out, but you want to get out as many as you possibly can. But don't worry about it if you still see some. It's totally fine. So we're just going to let this come to get hot. And I'm going to kind of stir in that butter and make sure that butter melts. See, I just left a very little bit of water down in the bottom. Very, very little because I want my liquid to be the cream in the milk but I left enough to keep it from burning as I heat it up. Does that make sense? And then the, the butter is gonna make, you know, it's gonna add some to the liquid. All right, I'll bring you right back when we get ready to pour this in. All you have to do is just get this good and hot and it's pretty much almost there. Um, and then we'll be pouring this in. All right, let's go ahead and add this in. Now, 
Now, just like you would do, I had a chunk of flour that didn't even get wet down there. Just like you would do with gravy, if you see that it is too thin, you can pull out a little bit. You can, that's when I would add the cornstarch instead of the flour. Um, that's when I would add the cornstarch if you needed it. Um, but chances are it's gonna be too thick if anything. And if it is, you can just add more milk. No problem at all in that. Now I'm just stirring again, making sure I've gotten all the lumps out. I don't want anything to burn on the bottom. I'm just stirring to make sure it gets. Now I would do this totally different if I had fresh corn. In fact, I would cut it off like half the kernel and then go back and cut the other, like I would cut the kernels kind of in half just to add to that juiciness for and get corn juice, you know, make, kind of scrape it and get the corn juice. Oh my goodness. And, um, but I'm showing you how to make a quick, easy, when you, no fuss, and you're just making something really fast and quick. Now you can see this has already thickened up. So Bryant's not here yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off. We can add milk to it to thin it up if it gets too thick. And then he can enjoy him some delicious cream corn. And I tell you, it is some kind of good. Only thing missing is those sliced tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna clean my mess up here, turn the burner off, wait for Bryant to come home, and then I'll let him taste it for you. Okay, everybody, look who's here. Hey everybody. This is not his supper. I just fixed him a spoonful. I'll fix his supper right before I head out to the ball game. Um, I told him I was, you're gonna get the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets and cream corn. Oh, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> yep. He, ha you have a Zoom meeting, right? No, in person meeting. Oh, it's going to. So maybe he's not gonna have chicken. I don't know. We'll see. It's a seven o'clock in person meeting. Oh. Okay. Anyway, well, he's got a thing of cream corn and smack on until. Whenever. <laughs> okay, here's your cream corn. All right. She knows Who has a snack of cream corn? <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Anyway, she knows that. I like good sweet cream corn. And let me tell you, with him saying sweet, <clears throat> it, I showed you on the can it says sweet corn. If by chance your can does not say sweet or it's, you don't feel like it's sweet enough, it's okay to add you a little sure. pinch of sugar to that corn. It's totally fine. The thing, the thing that I like is getting it thick enough. Sometimes I've had cream corn that's too runny. Now I got his really thick and what I did was when I saw him coming in the door, I just added a little splash of milk to thin it back out. Mm -hmm. um, what do I like with my cream corn? Tomatoes. <laughs> Tomatoes. Yes. Do I know you pretty well? So good. You know me very well. But she doesn't eat cream corn anymore. Mm -mm. I can't have Not it. Not in a long time. Yes, you can have in moderation. Well, I'm going to say no to it for right now until I reach my next goal. Yeah. So, look, he's getting him some more. So, if you've know. never heard of anybody eating cream corn for a snack, you have now. Yep, really good. So, okay. All right. Well, we're going in opposite directions tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this video up for you guys and get it out. You'll see the trial tomorrow, but you'll also see a recipe in that one. And um, I, I think I know what that was gonna be, but then again, I'm not sure. So, I think- What do you, what do you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be a, I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking blackberry cobbler, but I don't know. Okay, we'll, surprise We will see. So, okay. All right, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.